Do you think this will satisfy the NCAA in terms of a probation or not something harsher? We hope so. We believe based on the counsel that we've received and the analysis that we've done of previous cases that we've done a good job of balancing the penalties that we're imposing on ourselves to correlate with the violations, what they were, and the, the level that they rose to. Uh, ultimately, that decision will be made by the NCAA. They have the final decision in terms of whether these penalties are appropriate, but we believe that we've done the responsible thing. Place where you can kind of go forward and, and put it behind for now. Well, there's certainly been some work involved. Uh, I've worked with my attorney and we work together with uh, Michigan's council on, on preparing the responses. Uh, but we've been doing other things too, you know, spring practice and spring recruiting. So, you know, it's kept, kept some busy days, but there certainly is, as Dave mentioned, a relief to have this part of the process completed. And, and then we'll have to work closely together over the next several months to be prepared for the August meeting. Uh, as Dave mentioned earlier, this is very detailed responses. Um, there's a lot out there, information for, for folks to disseminate, and, and we've been open and transparent since day one. Rich, you're an emotional guy, especially when you talk about your kids and players. Is it hurtful to have to listen to questions about, well, should the coach be fired? Well, the coach fostered an atmosphere of non-compliance. I mean, that's, that's emotional stuff. Yeah, it is. It, it's, it's probably tough on the families and the coaches, and uh, but Dave, they've handled very well. I think what's, and we mentioned it earlier um, to the print media, that uh, the thing that probably bothered me the most uh, when this whole thing initially started was uh, some insinuations about student athlete welfare. And the thing that all the years of, that we've been together, and certainly all my years as head coach, the thing we take the most pride in is looking after the best interests of our student athletes. And one thing about this, this very thorough investigation, I think, has at least shown that there is uh, not any student athlete welfare issues and that our players uh, enjoyed what was going on in the program. Uh, there are issues and certainly things that mistakes that were made, but there were no student athlete welfare issues and at least I can take some relief in, in, uh, in that part of it. Rich, even with uh, this report though uh, and what has been found, uh, does this ratchet up the pressure on you, you feel, even more that you must win, that you must have success in this program immediately? Um, fair question. I was surprised it took this long to ask about <laughs> pressure to win, but I think it's I think it's inherent in the in the profession, inherent in my job that you're gonna have that every year anyway. And I've probably said this before, and it's not just coach speak, but I think coaches themselves put enough pressure on them themselves and their program to have success every year that anything on top of that really isn't gonna make much of a difference. And, you know, is there a sense of urgency? Sure, but there was a sense of urgency last year, the year before, and, and 20 years ago when I was coaching at Glenville State College. You know, there's always a sense of urgency to do as well as you can. So I don't think anything can add to that sense of urgency, particularly if you're a coach and, and you have a program that, that, that uh, prides on its competitiveness and, and uses that as one of our principles of teaching. And to what extent do you think this will create a, a black eye for an otherwise very proud university with a typically squeaky clean football program? No, I don't think this is a black eye. This is a bruise. Uh, we did some things wrong. Uh, you know, we fumbled the ball. Uh, we had breakdowns in chain of command. We had breakdowns in communication. We had systems in place that were backup systems to prevent problems from happening, and those systems failed. We, we, we bear the responsibility of all of that, but, but <laughs> you have to look at the body of work at the University of Michigan.